This episode is about the action verb of come, that basically has two meanings: to watch, look at, or visit. You will learn how to use this verb in which situations, and some useful phrases and sentences we can build around it. First, let's check how we can write can and make the strokes in the air, so you can see it directly off the screen, and you can count with me if you can. E. R, San, Su, Wu, Liu, Chi, Ba, Jiu. So all together, nine strokes, and especially this stroke that makes a corner. We consider it as one stroke, and we do it nonstop. Kan as a character is consisted of two parts. The lower part is called mu, and that literally means the eye. Mu, therefore, kan has something to do with our eyes. But normally we say eyes, yan, yan, and again in yan you can see the same radical of mu as well, the eye radical. Therefore, it helps us to understand the basic meaning of kan, to look at something, to watch something. With your eyes, and not just can. Several other characters that with the same I radical could also mean look at something, just with a little difference in meanings. For example, thumb that is to open up your eyes really round and wide. Thumb, ding, to stare at something for a long time. Ding. Let's come back to can. The simplest sentence would be, 我看 I watch, I look at. 我看你看 You watch, you look at something. 你看他看 He or she watch or look at something. 他看 As simple as this, no conjunction. An action is an action. The verb itself doesn't change look at all. And about the time tense. If we want to say to say this action is ongoing, we put 在 before 看我在看 I'm watching. 我在看 To say this action is already done, finished, we put 了 after 看我看了 I've watched. 我看了 And to mean this action of 看 will happen somewhere in the future. We can just use a noun of the future. 我明天看 I'll watch tomorrow. 我明天看 And similarly, a noun in the past. 我昨天看了 I watched yesterday. 我昨天看了 Just don't forget to put 了 because it's already finished. It happened yesterday. And to put a result, whether we have Seen something or not? 看到 see something. 看到 or 看不到 can't see it. 看不到 and all these grammar points I just mentioned now is the same for many other action verbs. You can also check this episode about to look for 找 if you want. Now let's see what content we can add after 看 In order to mean watch something, look at something. For example, we can watch any games we mentioned in the last episode. 看足球 watch football games. 看足球 or we can put some devices after 看看电视 watch television. 看电视 and 电视 the television. 电视，电 ，electricity or something related to that. 视 has a meaning related to vision, and of course the programs from the TV. 看脱口秀 ，watch talk show. 看脱口秀。Now you can judge from the sound that 脱口 is another word that we just found the closest in pronunciation. To the word talk show, 
Tuo Kou Xiu is actually composed of two parts. Tuo Kou and Xiu, both of them were created according to the English pronunciation. However, Tuo Kou already has a meaning in Chinese before that. A speech that gets off the mouth or leaves the mouth without too much thinking, too much editing, in other words, to improvise. Tuo Kou. And of course, we can look at some beautiful sceneries too. Tan Ri Chu. Watch the sunrise. Tan Ri Chu. Now you know, Ri means the sun. And Chu, if you look at the character, it looks exactly like a young sprout coming out of the ground and keep growing. That's why Chu as a verb has the meaning of to grow up. To arise, to come out. We can also use kan to mean to read. Kan shu to read a book. Kan shu because when we read a book, we look at the text on the pages. And for us, this action itself is no different than kan dian shi, watch television, or kan zu qiu. Watch football. 这本书好看吗? Is this book good? Or is this book interesting? 这本书好看吗? 好看, good or interesting. 好看,这件T恤好看吗? Is this t-shirt nice? 这件T恤 好看吗? 好看, very nice. 好看, so you see, 好看, we can use in daily life to describe something that is nice to look at. For the meaning of to look at, to watch, we can also put other action verbs after 看. 看 somebody do something. 看我讲 Watch me explain something. 看我讲, and to specify who is watching me. 你看我讲, you watch me explain. 你看我讲, and to specify what I'm explaining at. 看我讲中文, watch me explain Chinese. 看我讲中文, so all together, 你看我讲中文, you watch me explain Chinese. 你看我讲中文, just like playing the building blocks, right? Another example, 看他做, watch him do something or make something. 看他做, and again, to specify who is watching. 我看他做。I watch him make something. 我看他做。And to add what he's doing. 看他做饭。Watch him cook. 看他做饭。做饭。Make a meal. 做饭, and to bring all the elements together. 我看他做饭, I watch him cook. 我看他做饭, last example. 看他跳, watch her jump or watch her dance. 看他跳, 你看他跳, you watch her jump or dance. 你看他跳跳芭蕾, dance ballet literally. 跳芭蕾, and all together, 你看他跳芭蕾, you watch her dance ballet. 你看他跳芭蕾, 看 is also very useful in daily expressions when we want to say, Give it a try. So in all these three situations I just made up sentences with, 讲讲看, try to explain. 
讲讲看，做做看。Try to do, try to make. 做做看，跳跳看。Try to dance. 跳跳看。The second basic meaning of 看 is to visit. 看 somebody. Visit somebody. 看爸妈。Visit parents. 看爸妈。看朋友 ，visit friends。看朋友，爸妈来看我。My parents come to visit me。爸妈来看我，我去看朋友。I go to visit my friends。我去看朋友。And we can also say， 看医生 ，visit the doctor。看医生，医生 ，doctor， 医生。We can even say， 看病。That means to check disease， 病 ，disease， 病。To wrap up， in this episode， we introduce two basic meanings of the action verb， 看。The first， to watch， to look at， and there we can add a lot of objects after 看。To mean watch games, watch programs, or even watch devices. And the second meaning of can is to visit. You can visit your friends, your parents, any of your family members, or you can even go to see a doctor to check your disease. And that's pretty much the end of this episode. I'm Jai. Thanks for watching. See you soon. 谢谢，再见。